Okay, so good morning, everybody. My name is Paul Duncan, Staff Sergeant Duncan with the Nevada Army National Guard. Hey, if you like this video at all, please do me a big favor, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share this with a friend that might that might, this might help. Uh, today's question is I actually have a recruit of mine who has a friend who's thinking about either going into the National Guard or going into the active duty Marine Corps straight out of high school. So the question is, which is a better option straight out of high school? So the advice I have to give for anybody who's 17 or 18, fresh out of high school, thinking about going active duty, and that's not just the Marine Corps, active duty at all. Uh, if you're unsure that you want to be active duty, let me, let me paint a picture of what it's gonna look like if you go active duty for any branch. So. Uh, well, both branches, if you're in the National Guard or active duty, you're going to go through whatever that branch's version of boot camp is. So you're going to go through boot camp. We call it basic combat training. And then next thing you're going to go through is AIT. Some branches call it something different, but it's basically advanced individual training where you're going to learn a job skill. Okay. No matter if you join reserves, part-time or full-time, uh, you're going to go through that training in a full-time capacity. I and mean, you're gonna be on active duty orders while you go through those trainings. So you're gonna get paid full-time the same amount no matter what branch you're in. The difference happens after that training. So if you join National Guard, you are going to come back to your home state. So I'm a recruiter in Henderson, Las Vegas. So you will return to your home state and your minimum commitment will be to serve one weekend per month and two weeks of training in the summertime. Now, when that, when you get back, you have some choices. You can either stay part-time or you can decide that you want to do uh, apply for a conditional release and go into full-time. You can stay part-time. You can apply for full-time jobs within the state of Nevada if they're available. So you have a few different choices. Or, so if you stay part-time, you're gonna have the ability to go full-time to college, which is what most people choose to do. Now, if you're in the National Guard, you collect two benefits. You collect state benefits and you collect federal benefits. So every branch of service collects federal benefits. We're the only branch that also collects state benefits. So you get the GI Bill, plus your tuition will be 100% waived in the state of Nevada. Now let's backtrack and let's talk about what happens if you join any active duty component. So this person's thinking about joining the Marine Corps, but it's the same no matter what branch you join, it's just different branches, different missions. So you're gonna go through basic training, right? Or boot camp as the Marines call it. Um, then you're gonna go to AIT or advanced individual training, which is the job skill training. Then the next thing you're gonna do, if you're active duty, Marine Corps, Army, Navy, Air Force, you're going to, the federal government is going to decide where you go to your next station. So whatever that station is, you're gonna go there for the next three or four years, whatever your contract is, you're gonna be stationed there 24 seven. That's where you're gonna be. So whatever job you chose, you better hope that you really like that job because if you don't, what do you think is gonna happen? You're gonna be stuck in that job 24 seven for the next three or four years, whether you like it or not. So if you're unsure, my advice is if you're unsure about which branch to go into, why would you go active duty when you could tr basically try it out first with the National Guard? If you decide you wanna be full-time, there are options to become full-time later on. And one of those options is a conditional release and going into the active duty. Um, I'm not saying there's not a process to that, but it is something that you can do. So my advice to you is if you are unsure at all, like you have any doubt in your mind, that you wanna be full-time with the military, like you're okay with waking up every single day and having somebody be in charge of you and telling you exactly what to do every single day, because that's what it's gonna be like in the Marine Corps, that's what it's gonna be like in the active duty, and you're gonna be on a base, and you're not gonna have much freedom to do whatever you want. And if you wanna to go to college, you're gonna be restricted to probably going to college online, and it's still gonna be really difficult because you're not gonna control your schedule. If you're in the National Guard, you're gonna control your schedule. You're gonna have your minimum commitment, but outside of that minimum commitment, you're gonna have basically 28 days out of the month to go to college full-time and do whatever it is that you want full-time, to pursue what you wanna pursue full-time. So my suggestion usually for people who decide to join the National Guard is, join into a job that you wouldn't mind being a part-time hobby, but then go to college to do what it is that you wanna do full-time. If you decide college isn't for you later on, 
then decide to go active duty, okay? So just like me, I joined the National Guard. My first three years were 100% part-time, and then I decided to move into the full-time route. So that's just my advice. Again, if you're unsure of what you wanna do, my name is Staff Sergeant Duncan. I can navigate options with you um, and help you make a good decision. My phone number, the best thing to do is text message me at my phone number. My phone number is 702-460-7061. I'm a recruiter in Las Vegas. Um, if you're outside of Las Vegas, uh, I can still answer questions in the comments, but I won't be able to help you much in terms of in other states. But uh, feel free to add me on Instagram at Paul Duncan Jr. Shoot me a direct message there. Shoot me a text message. And that's it. I hope this video helps. Please subscribe to the channel. Talk to you later. Bye.